What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cobb 360 here, and I'm still unsure for how I'm going to do videos from here on out since I've made the big return. I don't really know if I'm just going to go back to the whole webcam thing. Like, I don't know, I feel like it's not like creative enough. I need something better. So, I don't know, I might do this, do a bit of vlogs. We'll see what happens. But with all the hype um, con uh, concerning the 8 core CPUs coming out of AMD, the Ryzen 7 series, um, everyone's still been thinking, well, what's going on with Ryzen 5, Ryzen 3, the 6 core 12 threads, the 4 core 8 threads, the 4 core 4 threads? Well, of course, um, at the same event or at the event that AMD hosted, they did talk about these chips, uh, believe it or not. So, of course, if you guys are worried about Ryzen 5 or more specifically the R5 1600X, which is actually the 6 core 12 thread um, flagship chip that's actually going to be launching in the second quarter of 2017 or of this year obviously now all of the Ryzen 5 chips are multi-threaded so they have simultaneous multi-threading SMT whatever you want to call it so you're not going to be seeing any 4 core 4 thread chips here or 6 core 6 thread chips not that there is a such thing as a 6 core 6 thread chip coming out of AMD but I'm just saying it so continuing on we're going to be having this 1600X clocked at 3.6 gigahertz base 4 gigahertz boost and having a 95 watt TDP so as you guys can see it's got very very similar clock speeds uh, to the uh, Ryzen 7 1800X not very similar the exact same clock speeds I don't even know why I decided to say similar continuing on it's going to be priced at 259 US dollars which means it will be competing with uh, the i5 7600K which keep in mind is a 4 core 4 thread chip I'm not talking about the 7700K, which is 4 core and 8 threads. I'm talking about the 7600K, the i5. So look at this, guys. We've got a 6 core, 12 thread chip going ahead or head to head with Intel's 4 core, 4 thread chip. And AMD seems to be claiming that the 1600X has a 69% advantage in multi threaded tasks, of course, in Cinebench versus this i5 7600K. Now, this shouldn't really come as a big surprise considering it has six cores and 12 threads, and the 7600K only has four cores and four threads. What will be more interesting to see is the single threaded performance, and that's really going to be based or come down uh, to the clock speeds because the IPC of Ryzen or Zen is. It's in pretty good range of uh, Intel's uh, broad one and whatnot. I mean, it, looking at it closely, um, the IPC of Ryzen is it's around Broadwell Haswell levels like it's somewhere in between there there are some rumors or there is talk that is it's actually clock for clock in IPC the same as KB Lake or the same as Broadwell E or Broadwell I'm not really like ready to say that I don't think we should really be basing this all on what we've seen straight out of AMD I think we need to wait for some third-party benchmarks but regardless the IPC is good enough and regardless of that the chips are so cheap that like it's not really that big of a deal. So, continuing on, um, unless Intel drops the price of the 7600K, I mean, they are done in that segment. They have to do something. They have to do some serious price cutting because if Intel's just going to leave the 4-core, four 4-thread four chip to compete with AMD's 6-core, 12-thread chip and have AMD just pretty much demolish the 7600K in performance, <laughs> it's not good news for Intel, man. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, so of course, apart from the um, the 1600X, there will be some other lower tier 6 core 12 thread chips, and there will of course be um, 4 core 8 thread chips, so of course we've got the Ryzen 5 1400X, this has 4 cores, 8 threads, it's pretty much AMD's 7700K, it's going to be clocked at 3.6 base, 3.9 boost, and it's going to be competing with the i5 7500 um, and of course, this chip will be launching at $199. Now, keep in mind, I did say $7,500. That is the non-unlocked, non-K version of that i5 chip, which is very interesting to see. I mean, AMD is being extremely aggressive with the pricing, and they need to be. They need to re-establish market share. They need to re-establish their place in the CPU industry. So, <laughs> this is a very good way to do it. Um, now, of course, let's get back to this whole AMD versus Intel IPC thing. There's a few things you have to keep in mind here, guys. Number one, clock speeds. Obviously, um, AMD's... Let's be honest, guys. AMD is not clock for clock equal with Intel in terms of IPC. And that's not a bad thing. No one was really expecting that. But, like, 
if AMD can have good enough clock speeds um, or has decent overclocking, the whole like, oh, Intel's, Intel's single thread performance is so good and you can just overclock by 7700K to 5 gigahertz or whatever, 4.6, that's not going to be that much of an issue. So I'm really hoping that AMD's chips overclock well, I hope they boost well, and I hope that they don't like have any heat problems. Like, they're rated pretty low in terms of TDP. Most of these chips are 65 watts. Obviously, the um, 1600X and the 1800X are 95 watt chips. I think maybe the 1700X is as well. But like, apart from that, this is good stuff. I'm liking this from AMD. So continuing on, um, all the way down to the bottom, we've got the Ryzen 3, the R3 series. These are four core, four thread chips. These are pretty much like AMD's like i5s. Essentially, it's these chips are going to be led by the uh, Ryzen 3 1200X, four cores, four threads, 3.4 gigahertz base clock. Um, it's going to be coming in at 149 US dollars, and of course, it's launching in the second half of 2017. So we won't be seeing those, you know, those really cheap budget option CPUs until this latter half of the year. Of course, AMD did say this earlier. They did say they're going to be launching from the top down. So we're going to be seeing the eight cores first, which is exactly what's happening on the March the second, and then we're going to be seeing the six cores, and then we'll be seeing the four cores or the four core four thread chips. Of course. The interesting thing to see is this um, 1200X, 4 core 4 threads, is cheaper than the i3 7350K, which I believe is um, Intel's, this is a 2, I'm pretty sure it's a multi-threaded i3. All the i3s are fucking multi-threaded, but it's not multi-threaded, it's unlocked, sorry. That was what was so special about this i3. It's cheaper than Intel's recently launched or recently announced. Um, unlocked i3, which a lot of people were hyping up and shit, but now that we're seeing a quad core, a true quad core coming in at cheaper, once again, Intel's gonna be doing some price cutting. So, anyway, guys, pretty much, thank you for watching. That was what I pretty much wanted to say. Like, I know there's been a lot of hype on the 1800X, the 18, uh, the 1700X, sorry, the 1700, but let's not forget, like, Especially the 1600X, that's 6 core 12 thread chip. That's the real kicker. 259 US dollars for 6 cores and 12 threads. This is essentially AMD's 5820K or whatever um, the fucking um, Skylake equivalent is. It's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be good. And of course, I did not mean Skylake because there's no Skylake E yet. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna shut the hell up now. I've talked too much. This is 7 minutes long. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and the Big K will see you guys hopefully very soon.